Hey guys, it's Jen. We went to um, the thrift store t today, uh, Desert Industries, and we went looking for wool sweaters, and I checked some other stuff too. We always check the pictures when we go. Let's see if I can get this whole thing in here. Isn't that pretty? And it's big. It's big. I don't know how big it is, but here, here's my hand. It's gorgeous. It's not a print. Someone painted this. The frame looks a little bit gold in the picture, but it's just wood. Isn't that beautiful? So I couldn't leave it there. It was $20, so we picked it up and brought it home. There's a couple different places I'm thinking of putting it. I'm not sure exactly where yet. Kids each got to pick out a book. Well, that's the one that Ruben wanted. <clears throat> um, why, I don't know. He just really wanted a dictionary to be able to look up words. So we got him that one. Um, this is the one that Inara picked out that she wanted to read. I'm trying to find Thatcher's. Here's Thatcher's. This is the one that he wanted. He picked out a couple of other ones, and I said no to them. So that's the one that he picked. Um, we also grabbed this. We don't have this one yet. It's a Magic Treehouse book. It's a cert one of the search guides. We picked up this American Girl book and this one. And our doesn't have these. We don't have very many of them, and we don't see them super often. And then Kurt got these. Very cool. We're doing a lot of um, home renovation stuff. We're doing it ourselves for the most part, so okay, it's cool. All right, I got this. I didn't get a lot of baskets today, but I didn't get to look through them very well either. So it was $1.50, which is a plain little wooden box. I believe someone used it as a planter. It's got handles. I'm not 100% what I'm what sure what I'm going to use it for. There's a couple different places that it would work. So I'm just going to put them there and see. While we were in the toy section, because I promised Apollo he could have a toy if he went to bed in his own bed last night. Long process. I saw this cute little Merida doll, and it was only $2. The dress is a hot mess, but I can easily make her some clothes, or Grandma can make her some clothes. But um, Nara is pretty happy with her. I think she's pretty cute. Her hair is in pretty good shape, and um, she's not really very marked up. So we're going to clean her up and get her some different clothes. And the toy we got Apollo was like a little, not too little, but it was like a ride on trike type thing. But he had it outside when we were working earlier, and so I'm not bringing it in. Um, we picked this up for Apollo. Green is his favorite color, and this was super cute. It was only $2, just a little cotton long sleeve shirt. I found some really beautiful floral sheets. Typically, their floral fat, flat sheets are only $2.00 gonna look through this and see if I could find a tag some of the ones that I've gotten there before are vintage but definitely not all of them and I don't know that this one is um, I'm not quick, gonna quickly find a tag here so and now here that's your see if you can find a tag bug and I also picked up this one it, it looks to be the what, same print a tag or what? No, see if you can find a tag that is sewn onto it. Look around all the edges. So this one and the blue one look to be the same print, just different colors. Really pretty. And then the sweaters. Oh, it's slim pickings for wool sweaters today. So this is actually a vest. And this one is... It is 70% lamb's wool, 20% angora rabbit hair, and 10% nylon. I don't, oh, it's going totally out of focus. Woo. I don't mind the nylon. Sometimes a little nylon helps it keep its shape, just depending. This one is a little bit ribbed, but, um, so I grabbed that. It's nice and, and soft and warm. I can maybe make gloves or something with it. Oh, did you find the tag bug? All right, here's the tag. It is New Super Easy Care by, what is that, Pico? It's polyester and combed cotton, a double flat, made in the USA. So I'll look it up. I'm not sure where it came from. I've not heard that before. So there's the blue one and the pink one. And then these sweaters we got because there's a really cool way to make my kids nice, cozy, warm slippers with sweater sleeves. So we were looking for nice thicker wool sweaters and some of those wool sweaters were expensive this one was five dollars it's jones new york it is 100 percent wool and it's just a nice stripe it's a little bit thicker should wear pretty well 
And then we got this one. This one is a little bit thinner, and I had meant to go through all these after the fact and kind of pick through, but um, we got distracted and I didn't. So this is Jones, New York. It was $7, which is more than I like to pay for used stuff like that, but it'll do. It's a really beautiful red, very soft. Let's see if I can find the tag for you. Yeah, it's 100% cashmere, so very, very, very soft. And then there is this one. This is Jeffrey Bean. It's actually acrylic. I grabbed this one. It was in with all the women's sweaters, but it's a men's sweater, and it's Kurt size. It's like a really pretty dark charcoal, and it's soft, and so I asked him if he'd wear it. And so we got that one for him, and then I got this sweater. This one is Mitchell's of Westport. It is 100% pure virgin wool. It was $7. And it's just a plaid. Kind of like a brown and black plaid. Um, I don't like it as much as I like um, this one texture wise. But it's still not bad. It's nice and thick. And it should work pretty well. So... Um, I think that's it. <clears throat> I think that's everything that we got. I didn't get over to look at the gloss or anything like that today. I wanted to. We just, we ran short on time. We went in this morning. Well, it was really cold here. I think the high was 51 here today. So, or at least when we got home, it was. So we came home, grabbed lunch, headed outside. We did a bunch of yard work. So not a super big haul, but I got what I went for. So that's awesome. Anyway, that is what we got. We will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.